Hi everyone, my name is Michael King. I'm doing a guest spot for Raval Govinda on his channel. Welcome to the first part of this series on the new features in ES6. This first episode is going to be about variable scoping and constants in ES6. So on this code at the moment, we've just got some standard JavaScript and all we're doing is um, defining a variable twice using the var keyword. One of them is inside an if statement, the other one is outside. And if we run this code now, we'll see how this behaves in just regular JavaScript. So the variable definition inside the if statement is giving us two, and outside the if statement is also giving us two. The reason for that is because we're defining um, the variable foo in the outer scope, setting it to one, and inside the if statement, we're then immediately declaring a new variable and setting it to two. This setting of two is going to apply to the outer scope and the inside scope of this if statement. That's why we're seeing two in the inside the if statement and outside. So let's see what happens if we change this to let. And let is a new keyword in ES6. So let's update the code to use let instead of var. And let's run the code. And what we'll see here is inside the if block, the value is two, but outside the if block, the value is now one. Now, the reason for this is let um, depends on the scope in which it's declared. So in this case, um, foo is being declared in the outer scope. And then when we come within the if statement, foo is then declared again with inside the if statement. Um, so when we exit the if statement, foo then resets itself to one because it's in the outer scope. That's why we see inside the if block, we're seeing two and outside the if block, we're seeing one. So another keyword in ES6 that is new is um, const, and what that's going to do is define a constant. So let's update the code again to use const, and this is actually just going to give us the same result as using let. Um, but when you're using constants, you wouldn't use them in this way. What You wouldn't redeclare two constants of the same name. What you would do is try to set it. And this code isn't going to work, and the reason for that is constants shouldn't change. And in ES6, JavaScript isn't going to let them change. So you're probably thinking, we, we know now what let and const are. When should we use them within our applications? So a good rule of thumb is never use var anymore. If you're using anything like ESLint to lint your code, it's, it's not going to want you to use var at all. It's just going to highlight everything in red if you try to do that. Um, you should use const if your variable isn't going to change value. And you should use let if it does need to change value. So in all instances where we're now using var, we can replace them with either const or let. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a really quick introduction to one of the new features in ES6. If you enjoyed it, please join me in the next episode.